it's your boy Happy Speaks, and we're gonna jump in today with the Bee Gees. Not the Heebie Jeebies, but the Bee Gees, bro. The Bee Gees. You might have already been on this channel and you've already subscribed. So you already know I've done some Andy Gibb reactions. Will I be doing some more? You bet your bottom dollar. Because I'm exploring it. I'm intrigued with the dynamics of this relationship. But I'm more interested in the Bee Gees, folks. Despite being despite Andy perhaps becoming a that was going to become a member it was agreed apparently you know so thank you for getting back to me in the comments for that reaction um you know so it was it was interesting to know that he was on the verge of actually joining Bee Gees but because of the crowd you guys were saying because of his bad habits it it overtook him you know it, it, and I think you know sometimes in your circle folks it's the ones that are in your circle they're the ones that stab that dagger in your back I said it. I said it. There was an old, is it a Greek or Roman uh, story where, was it Alexander the Great? I can't remember who it was, but his own inner circle took him out. They took him out because they knew where he was going. He was becoming powerful and stuff, and they were scared that their positions in his uh, inner circle or authority would be at jeopardy. So they took him out or something like that. Um, I'm not saying it happened to Andy Gibb, but who knows? Maybe in his inner circle, he might have been like, Hey, I'm gonna be joining the Bee Gees, and they're probably like, "Oh shit, we got then the, our freaking gravy train's over," you know? All right, Andy, and this carrying and supplying him alcohol and drugs and all that good stuff, and that's it, you know. Sometimes you don't realize it. Sometimes it's the ones closest to you, folks, and we call them enablers. They enable you to continue with these bad habits. But once you get folks that want to wake you up, ooh, you want to you want to step back. You think those folks are out to get you, but they're not. They're just trying to help you. They're trying to help you wake up, but you don't want to wake up because you're with these enablers that are con that you're continuing down a path that's not right. Because it's going to cause misery, and you're going to even be around for the people that you call mis call cause misery for. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. I'm about to jump in with this reaction. If you haven't already, go ahead, bang it. I would highly appreciate that because we're going to jump in today with the Bee Gees. Love you inside out. Another song title that I'm not going to explore right now. We just let the music do the talking on this one. All right, let's jump in. First time listen, first time reaction. Oh my days, come on baby. You got that right, love you inside out. We're right there. Ba 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 ba. Um, do excuse me. <laughs> That's their voices. That's their voices. They manipulated that. That's their actual voices. Harmon they've harmonized that and they've used it as a, uh, a fake synthesizer sound. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Too many lovers in one lifetime ain't good for you. Even the Bee Gees be preaching. Too many lovers in one lifetime ain't good for you. It ain't. This, have I, where, have I heard this beat before somewhere? Folks, ha, has this beat been sampled before somewhere? This is an original Bee Gees beat. I know that much. I, I know. I got, a, I got a hunch. This is an original Bee Gees beat. But has it been sampled somewhere? I've just got a feeling it's been sampled somewhere. Perhaps on a hip hop song. I can't, I, I'm not 100%. It just sounds really familiar. Unless somebody ripped them off and trying to impersonate or imitate a bit of Bee Gees in their music. Who knows?
That's it. Too many heartaches in one lifetime ain't good for me either. <laughs> oh, my days, Bee Gees. Oh, goodness sake. Wow. I'm the... Forget about your vision. I'm the man that's... Like... <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit, it's a statement, folks. Forget about that, your man of your vision. I am that man. I'm the man that's going to love you inside out. <laughs> Yo, that chorus hits. I like how they're playing it back now. First, he was talking about the lady. You know, too many lovers in your life, that ain't good. And, the, you know, and now he's saying about himself, too many heart heartaches for me ain't good. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's live for the moment, baby. Let's live for the moment. But it's a bit of a hard one to tell because he's saying, almost like live for the moment but he's also saying at the same time you can't have too many and I don't want too many heartaches you go check out my reactions slick players bro slick smooth operators <laughs> that was absolutely that song is smooth that song was made for smooth operators baby and i'm a smooth operator i say i don't usually boast i don't usually go on a bit of a uh a tangent well i usually do actually but yeah anyway that song right there is a, an anthem for the smooth operator let me see if that reaction pops up anywhere else now. I hate it. I hate it. When I bring up a song or something, no, a few days later, it gets reacted to. Your boy ain't quick enough. Smooth operator. What a freaking tune. Anyway, Bee Gees, that was it. Love you inside out. I said it. Yes, I said it. Because quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Because I feel the music. And that was absolutely fabulous. Bee Gees making a statement. Bee Gees making a statement. You might be happy he speaks. You're quite emotional right now. Yes, I am. Because that's the music, baby. That was it. That was absolutely great. I loved the bit when they went into the... Was it the head voice, perhaps? Or for, you know, towards the end. And then the, it merged in with the beat back again. And then just towards the end, there was a bit of a, a, a different kind of drum hit coming towards the end of the song. And I think that kind of drum hit at, towards the end were also to let 
disc jockeys know we're at the end of the song folks we are they saying you want to get another record on get it on otherwise you want to jump on and say this is power station hat free speaks that was the Bee Gees loving you inside out love you inside out do excuse me this is your host anyway you know they would have jumped in and said something like that guys that was that was that was awesome never ever ever heard that song i'm still yet to do i'm still yet to do staying alive um there's some big numbers i've not reacted to yet but i appreciate this and you know what i'm gonna say something about andy gibb if 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 he had joined my days my days bgs the four of them together you got the three seniors and you got the one young wow stallion freaking hell can you imagine that because that boost that that young boost in that group would have would have taken it taken bgs to a whole different level because andy had three number one hits as a solo artist according to your comments you left on my last reaction that i read i may not reply but i read them right so he's already got a massive fan base once he gets with the Bee Gees, that fan base, with the Bee Gees fan base, creates a super fan base. And that would have led to world domination, baby. One can only imagine. One could only imagine. And I implore you to imagine that. I would. I really would imagine you. Imagine you? I would really implore you to imagine that thought I just gave. All right, folks? All right, I'm off on a tangent. That was fabulous. Sometimes, folks, the music just comes and your boy rattles off but half the time it's like that half the time it's like it's not one or the other so you want a bit of spontaneous in there in your life you're at the right spot so if you enjoyed this reaction give it a comment give it a like give it a subscribe there are links in the description box where you can get involved with the channel make sure you are staying safe and i'll catch you on the next one peace